Hello, my fram. It is Perez Hilton. And if you're not a member of my fram and you don't know who I am and you're watching this right now, there's Wikipedia. Check mine out. <laughs> Today, I am talking about Olivia Jade. And I'm gonna assume, I think correctly, that 95.9% of the global population has no idea who Olivia Jade is. She is the daughter of the fired Fuller House star, Lori Loughlin, who is embroiled in that college scam scandal. And Olivia Jade recently called me out, posted a very angry photo on Instagram with her middle fingers out and addressed it to me amongst other media outlets. So I wanna to respond to that and also give her some advice and advice to other influencers out there and also touch on Bella Thorne because I read something very interesting about her recently. <sighs> you may not want to hear this or like to hear this, but what Olivia Jade did was both really smart and also dumb at the same time. It was smart from the point of view of she got a lot of attention for it, but it was dumb in that it could maybe hurt her mother's case. Lori Lachlan did not accept a plea deal. She is going to trial. And a juror may be subconsciously affected by seeing her petulant, spoiled child asking for sympathy or feeling like she's slighted or wronged. Olivia Jade, you are not the wronged party here. Yeah, your mother did something really bad, but you were in on it. She was complicit. Don't forget that part of the equation, Olivia Jade. I sure as heck haven't. Both Olivia Jade and her sister went along for the ride pretending they were rowers when they weren't. Yeah, that's how they got into USC, the whole row team scam, okay? If you also don't know, Olivia Jade is a YouTuber, which is why I decided to make a video to use her for views because she's got a lot more views than me. If you haven't seen any of Olivia Jade's videos, then consider yourself lucky. She, listen, I can be objective. She is pleasant and very visually appealing, but there's not much there and not very compelling. She's good at talking about herself. I saw her give an interview before the whole scandal, well, after the scandal, but it was, done before the scandal and I enjoyed hearing her talk about herself. She, she doesn't have an awful personality, but she's not the kind of YouTuber that I would want to watch or that I do watch, you know? Having said all that, do I think Olivia Jade can have a YouTube comeback? Yeah, obviously, duh. Young people, well, first of all, all of Hollywood is very forgiving. Like I've said before, if Mel Gibson can still have a career, then anybody can have a career. And, you know, there is something to be said about when youngsters mess up, you should give them some leeway because they're young and they're learning. So I'm still surprised that Olivia Jade has not returned to YouTube yet, making what am I wearing? Get ready with me. Silly stuff like that that I don't find appealing. But her audience is predominantly young as well. And they, I think they don't care. Because in their eyes, she isn't even the daughter of Lori Loughlin. That's not what matters to them. She is friends with David Dobrik. And that matters even more to them. But what's the most just unfortunate and also fortunate for Olivia Jade is 
we're living in a day and age where you're an influencer and you have a large audience, you can do anything. And actually, hello, look at me. <laughs> you know, back in the day, I was pretty dang awful. And getting brand deals. When you're hot, you can get away with being awful or problematic. I'm not saying Olivia Jade's awful. I'm just saying she's problematic, just like Bella Thorne. See how I'm tying it all in? Bella Thorne, I teased this in a video earlier in the week. Bella Thorne, saying problematic is putting it lightly, but one of the many things going on with Bella Thorne is that now she is directing movies for adults only, if you know what I mean. Jelly Bean. Let's just say it's harder than an R rating. And this is advertiser friendly, you know, I'm not saying anything, okay? If you don't know who Bella Thorne is, she's a former Disney star. And having said that, you know, you would think maybe 10 years ago that would be a bad look, but there are brands out there that just care about the numbers. They just care about your engagement, actually, not even the numbers, not even the numbers. Engagement is what matters most. And I hear, I don't know how factual this is, you know, Bella Thorne has a lot of followers on social media and she gets a lot of engagement. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, I, uh, I spoke on a panel this weekend in Denver at Jules Wellness Your Weight Festival about influencers and I'm gonna upload footage from that. I don't know if I'll do it on this channel or my personal family channel, um, but not about the panel. I'll, I'll share with you some of the things about that here and now. Um, I think I have authority to talk about being an influencer. I was an influencer before that word even existed. So this actually seven minutes in is what I think is the most important part of the video. If you are blessed enough to be an influencer who is influencing and making money, listen up, okay? Olivia Jade, hear me. Bella Thorne, hear me. I'm gonna tell them and wannabe influencers the do's and the don'ts, okay? The do, keep doing what you're doing. It's working. The don't is do not live above your means. It seems so obvious, but or, or, or even don't live within your means. I never lived above my means, but I lived within my means and I regret that. I should have lived below my means. When you're making crazy amounts of money, you think that's gonna last forever. And let me tell you something, Olivia, well, you already know this, in, 2017, in 2018, Olivia Jade was making a lot of money. 2019, not making any money. But you know what, it's okay because she's got rich parents. And an update on her personal life, Olivia Jade is back with her ex-boyfriend, Jackson Guffey, who is the son of the owners of Proactive. Really, really rich. They have way more money than Lori Loughlin and Massimo. Get that ring, Olivia Jade. Secure that bag. Actually, I think that's maybe one of the reasons why Bella Thorne and Maud's son didn't last. Because I don't think Maud's son, the musician, is pulling in a lot of money. So, anyways, don't, don't live within your means. Live below your means. That's actually something that everybody should do, not even an influencer or not, unless you are blessed enough to have made enough money in your life to be 
having passive income come in, okay? Do not troll, be a troll. Do troll, but do not be a troll. I do think that 2019 Tana Mojo Paul is having a moment, but if your brand is, if you're, if you, if people expect you to be a liar or if people have these expectations of you that are not very good, you know, in the, back in the day, or maybe even still, a lot of people may not like what I do, but I think everybody can agree that I am honest and I work hard and I give people things they want and enjoy and consume. Tana Paul is gonna have struggles as she grows and matures and people grow up stop watching her videos, unfollow her on Instagram, or she loses engagement. She's gonna have to reinvent, and hopefully she does and can. You know, she's still really young. But don't, don't look, don't look up to Jake Paul and Tana Mojo, don't. Do look up to the ones that are authentic but can do that in a way that's, it's not just about views. Listen, views are great and, and, and attention is great, but not everything is about attention, okay? And I knew that right away. Like I knew, I knew that me wearing ridiculous clothes that's fun, but if I wasn't also giving the people what they wanted, then people would stop reading my website or paying attention. You still got to deliver. Do quality. Do give people things they want. If you're doubting, oh, is this a good video or not? Don't post it. If you're doubting like, oh, well this, if, if you even have the thought Will this hurt my career? Don't do it. Also, don't be so precious. Don't be precious. Your brand, your image, it's not gold, okay? Do say yes to things. Say yes to opportunities. Say yes to people. Do be a nice person. Do engage with your audience. Make sure that you're, you follow fans, that you like their comments, that you respond to them, that you take photos with them when they ask you for a photo, if you're lucky enough to have that happen. <coughs> do, do the work, do the work. There are no shortcuts. You may luck your way into success, but you're not gonna sustain success if you're lazy. I mean, just look back. It's 2020 almost. The top influencers, the top YouTubers in 2015, just five years ago, they were not the top influencers and YouTubers of today. In fact, many of them have retired. I don't know if they can, if they're still making money. Like, is Bethany Moda still making the money? Or, or Michelle Fan and People like that, you know, I'm not making what I used to. Whoo, that's real honest. But also, I'm spending more because I've got three kids and I, that, 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 that's why I'm not making what I used to either, you know? I used to have way more disposable income. Now a lot of my income is going to my three kids and my mom and yada, yada, yada. Um, what else? Do be a self-starter. Do champion for yourself. Do ask for things. You know, a lot of the opportunities that I've gotten in my career, I got them myself. An agent didn't get them for me. A manager didn't get them for me. I directly reached out to 
brands or TV shows or directors or actors. Reach out. Reach out and touch faith. Ask for the things that you want. Do things professionally. You know, you may have this reputation for being controversial or wild or whatever, but always show up on time. Always be easy to work with. Do not complain on set. Do not complain on a film shoot, a, a, a brand photo shoot, whatever it may be. Don't complain. If you're gonna complain, don't do it yourself. Reach out to your team. Have your team complain for you. You always have to be professional and polite, easy and accommodating. And once again, what did I say? Say yes. And of course, show up early. Hello, I talked about it in one of the videos earlier this week, Tana Paul, not showing up early to things. Don't be late. If you're not at least five minutes early, you're already late. Do all of that and don't, don't overthink it also. This is all really good stuff, you know, and I'm, I'm just like spitballing it. Don't be ruled by metrics, statistics. And a lot of people may disagree with me. Do not be ruled by what numbers say. This is when, what you should be doing. This is when you should be posting. Follow your gut, follow your instincts. It's what got you to where you are. And if you're not an influencer yet and you wanna be influencing, be authentic. Find what you're genuinely passionate about and not just chasing trends, not just making videos you think will get a lot of views, because they may not. You have to genuinely be into what you're talking about. For example, Joey Graceffa was a top YouTuber and still is, but for a long time he just was making the worst content. Dumbed himself so down because he thought that's what 12 year olds wanted to see. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything that I don't wanna do. Yes, I want views, but I still have to enjoy what I'm doing. I still, ha and it still has to be me and a reflection. So find your voice, find how you can do things differently. I did from the very beginning, not just doodling on the photos, not just giving people nicknames, but also how I talked to my audience making them feel like they were my friends because they were. Like Emma Chamberlain, she started making her videos different from everybody else on YouTube. And then that became the new norm and the trend. And so many YouTubers started copying her. Talk about what you're passionate about. Do what you're passionate about, whether it's cooking, fashion, whatever. Because the new trend is micro-influencers. You don't have to get a ton of followers if you're niche, niche does very well. Niche almost does better than me. Like, um, like my Instagram account has 800,000 plus followers, but a food vlogger on Instagram or photographer with 400,000 followers could make more money on Instagram than me. I barely get brand deals on Instagram. If you're a brand and you're watching this and you wanna send money my way, send it my way. Be consistent. I would say daily. You should be posting content daily if you can. Cause not everything's gonna hit, not everything's gonna be great, but be consistent with your audience. Give them what you love that you think they will love too, but you've got to love it. Be involved, be a part of that community. If it's Instagram, comment on other people's photos, but not spam. If it's YouTube, comment on other YouTubers' channels, super chat them. If you want to grow your own YouTube channel, super chat channels that you think that audience would enjoy your content too and give money to those creators so that you can be seen more and maybe write, hey you guys, I, uh, hey so-and-so, Perez, I love what you're doing and check out my channel. I know that when people super chat me, I take notes of who they are and I thank them in my videos. And I, um, sure, I'm sure that other people would pay attention and watch you 
super chatting and say, hey, check out my channel. I Do it right now. I'll check out your channel. That's how I saw Lizzie Snyder and I gave her feedback. I'm awesome. Not everybody's like me. What else? Do, you know, do variety. Even if you just do one thing, right? Listen to this. Like if food is your thing and you're a food person on Instagram or YouTube, do food, but try to do food different ways. You know, that's why on this channel, I have my main thing that I do, but I also every once in a while do music reaction videos, do celebrity interviews, do musical performances. I like variety. So, so I try to do that. You know, if you do cooking, how can I do this cooking thing differently? How can I do this fashion thing differently? Don't do it the same way every time. The little details, pay attention to the details. You know, I post videos on this channel and my family channel daily. I, of course, wear different outfits, use different backdrops. I think about the little things and entertaining people as many different ways as possible. Do have patience. It took me well over a year on my blog to start making money. You won't be making money right away. And do pay attention to the signs. I noticed that my family channel was picking up, so I made that even more of a priority recently, posting different kinds of content, switching to English language on there with my kids, doing vlog format there, because that was working really well in that space and it worked really well on my channel. So pay attention, listen, work hard, study, and also stay in school. You can be an Instagrammer and a YouTuber and go to college and get an education. Have that backup plan just in case things don't work out. And do have fun, you know? It should be fun. If you're having fun doing what you do, that'll come across and people can tell. And I could keep on talking about this forever, but I think I've given a lot of really good advice. I hope, um, I hope this was useful for you all. And maybe you got some good info and tea or just some entertainment. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for watching. Back with your regularly scheduled programming tomorrow with a daily recap video, but I'm trying to spice it up and keep things different. Uh, so, daily recap video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. It's a new week. Positive vibes. It's still summer. Let's make the most of August, the, re the rest of this month. I love you. Thank you for watching. You are a superstar. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share, turn on your notifications. Make sure that you follow my personal channel, The Perez Hilton. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, The Perez Hilton. Get a personalized video greeting from me on Cameo at cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. Listen to my news, listen to my podcast at perezpodcast.com. Sign up for my newsletter at perez.newsletter.com. Everything will be down below that I just mentioned. And of course, read perezhilton.com every day. I love you and...